Welcome. This is an introduction to the next six week series of videos. They'll all be about 25 minutes long and it is the beginning of the season of Lent. And while that's a particularly Christian journey, it also encompasses many of the things that we experience just being humans and things we need to cultivate like trust and humility and hope. Most importantly, we need to decide, as Albert Einstein pointed out, whether or not we believe that the world is a benevolent place. And I believe it is. So this time is just a time to turn inward, do a little self-reflection, um, decide what you believe and what you want to focus on, both on the mat and perhaps taking it out into the world. So you want to have uh, maybe a yoga strap, a couple of yoga blocks, perhaps even a chair. We'll offer some modifications using all those things. So once you've gathered all your props, just go ahead and close your eyes. If you're uncomfortable closing your eyes, just gaze at the floor somewhere in front of you. And start to pay attention to your breath. Sit up really, really tall. If it's hard for you to sit up tall on the ground, sit up on a cushion or a stool or some yoga blocks or a chair. So do a little check-in and make sure that your belly is expanding on the inhale. Gently pulling toward the spine on the exhale. So my suggested keywords for today are focus and hope. You might decide what it is you want to focus on in this practice or this week. Or turn your attention to something that you're hopeful for. Could be a person or a group of people, even just sending them out positive energy. And once you've set your intention, please come back to your breath. Take a couple more easy inhales and exhales. And then float your eyes open. So as always, we will begin with gently warming the spine. I'm gonna turn sideways so that you can see me. On an inhale, maybe holding your knees, gently lift your chest, gazing slightly upward, tilt your pelvis forward. And on an exhale, hollow out, curling your spine like that Halloween cat shape. So remember you're your own best teacher, practice safely, Shouldn't ever be any pain. So just keep moving, inhaling and exhaling. Just feeling the muscles around the spine get nice and supple. Maybe it would feel good for you to move your head around. One more inhale and exhale. and then come on back to neutral. And then we're gonna gently twist from side to side. So once again, inhale and get tall. Twisting, maybe using your hand on your knee for some leverage. Keep your shoulders level, pull your low belly in and twist from above the waist, maybe looking over your back shoulder. So this practice is about tuning in, paying attention. On an exhale, come back to neutral. Inhale, get really, really tall. And twist the other direction. So inhale and get tall and exhale, deepening the twist. Notice what's going on in your hips. Is one side tighter than the other? Can you relax your legs a little more? And then come back to neutral.
And then we'll do an easy side bend. So you want to feel like your upper body is squished between two pieces of glass. You're going straight to the side. Inhale, take one arm up, get really, really tall, and exhale, fold straight sideways. So it might be easiest to look down at your thumb. Keep your top shoulder stacked over your bottom shoulder. And inhale and come on back up to center. Take an exhale to neutralize. And then inhale, go to the other side. Again, taking this opportunity to just notice if one side is different than the other. And inhale and come on back up to center. So we basically moved our spine in all six directions that it would go. And then we're going to do an easy forward folding motion. So again, we're turn sideways. So you want to bend your knees so that your feet are still planted on the ground. So the, the tendency is to let the knees splay out. You can even take a yoga block and squeeze the block. And that way you're going to keep your knees in line. You can feel how that activates your inner thighs, right? So this is basically a gentle forward fold, pulling our thighs toward our chest. You could hold the backs of your thighs if it's helpful. Again, no pain in the low back, but you might notice that this forward fold is stretching your low back a little bit. So take a few breaths here. Feet can be about two, two fist widths apart, or the same distance as your block if you're using it. Feel how this is engaging your low belly muscles, your abdominal muscles. And then we're going to take it right into a twist. So holding on to one knee, using your hand for support, sit up really tall and we'll twist again. So combining that twisting motion and the forward fold, again, shouldn't be any pain. And you could do a forward fold and a twist like this, one leg at a time in a chair. One more deep inhale. And exhale and gently release. Go ahead to stretch your legs out. Give them a little shake. Right. And then we'll go right to the other side. So setting my feet, my foundation. Squeezing that block or a pillow. Inhale, get really, really tall. And exhale, twist to the other side. Use that back hand to support your spine. Might start to feel a little heat building in the belly. Come on back to center and exhaling gently release. So if you felt that in your hip flexor muscles, just know that it's a journey, right? They'll get stronger and longer as we practice. So sit up really tall. And we're going to gently fold forward. So again, be mindful of your low back. If you need to keep your knees a little bit bent, that works. That will really work the belly of the hamstring muscle, the back of the legs. If you stretch your legs out completely, draw your toes back towards your knees, maybe rock from side to side. You might feel it more below the knee and in the hip. So keep your head in line with your spine and just settle in for a few breaths. Keep those shoulder blades sliding down the back. One more deep exhale. Maybe on your last exhale, you let your head hang, folding softly. And then use your hands to walk yourself back up shoulders over the hips all right so we're going to gently lean to one side so that you can come to all fours and bring one leg forward it really doesn't matter which one as long as you do both sides and just start to notice uh, that opposite stretch now in the hip flexor dropping the hips low and forward all right, so my hip is well in front of that back knee. If you stay up here with your hip over your knee, you're going to be wobbly. Get low and forward. 
You might want to walk your front foot out to the edge of your mat a little bit to give you a wider base. And perhaps you want to inhale your, release your hands behind your back. Or maybe gently hold elbow to elbow if you can. Or if you have a reverse prayer position in your practice, you could try that. A couple of breaths here. So you could sit in a chair and make this same shape if it bothers your knees. On an exhale, release your hands, grab a hold of your block or rest your fingertips on the mat. We're gonna inhale, lift your hips up and back, draw your toes toward your knee. Again, stretching that hamstring. Resting your gaze in one place. Using your breath, both those things will quiet the mind. Come back to that intention that you set. And from here, we're going to transition right to warrior two. So put your body weight back on your front foot, curl your back toes under, and lift that back thigh. So if you're practicing in a chair, you can simply stretch your legs out so they make the same shape. Right, you bring your shoulders over your hips. I've got my heel to arch alignment. You see, you drew a line, right? You want to settle in. Take your arms out to the side, perhaps. And this is what warrior two looks like if you're sitting in a chair. Really push into the outer edge of that back foot. So we're going to inhale, straighten, and exhale, deepen. Nice. Inhale, straighten, and exhale, deepen. One more time. Inhale, straighten, and exhale, deepen. Root those feet and take three deep breaths here. And inhaling, go ahead and straighten that front leg, right? Bring your hands to your hips. We're going to do one easy forward fold, so turn all ten toes facing the short edge of your surface. Lift your chest, get really, really tall, and exhale, fold straight forward, flat back. So you can still be making this shape in the chair. Maybe you have your hands on a block. It's got different levels. Perhaps folding yourself forward all the way over. Then turn those same toes out that were in front of your warrior two. Lift your back heel. We're gently going to transition back to all fours. And try another easy forward fold child's pose. So bring your big toes together. Your knees can be a little bit wider apart. Drop your hips back toward your heels. Reach your arms way far forward. Draw your forehead to the mat if you can, or use a block. And we'll do that same series on the other leg. So come on up to all fours. I'm going to turn around. Bring my block with me just so I don't have my back to you. So bring your other leg forward. Drop your hips low, right? Start to feel that hip flexor stretch. Maybe walk your front foot out to the edge of the mat. So maybe this time you'd like to take your arms up overhead and hold elbow to elbow. Just drawing the sternum up, up our arms back. Root that front foot, release your hands, exhaling hands to the block or the mat, and lift your hips up and back and keep your hips level and draw your toes back towards your knee, easy hamstring stretch.
then root that front foot, transition to warrior two, put all those back toes under, lift that back thigh, turn the heel down and inward, find your heel to arch alignment. Safely coming to standing, right? And inhale, straighten, and exhale, deepen. Inhale, straighten, exhale, deepen. Inhale, straighten, exhale, deepen. And take three deep breaths. You might say to yourself, the world is kind. I am safe. Last deep exhale. And we'll immediately transition ourselves back to the mat. So lift that back heel, find your prop, pull your low belly in. Float the knees down. And come on back to a child's pose just for two breaths. Really notice how your body's starting to feel more open and spacious. Pull your low belly in. Come back to all fours. You can see my hands are slightly forward with my shoulders. Curl your toes under, lift your hips way up and back and push your ribs towards your thighs. Just one brief downward facing dog. Inhale deeply, exhale, drop your heels. Then look at your thumbs, soften your knees and start to walk your feet in to meet your hands. Rest your hands on your thighs, keep the spine long as you come to standing. Tadasana mountain pose. So you can stay right where you are, check in with your feet, make sure that the outer edges of your feet are parallel. Looks like this. We're gonna shift our body weight into one leg and take an easy tree pose. So find one thing to gaze at. It's not moving, so not me. Maybe your foot stays on the calf. Maybe you come up to the inner thigh. Just no weight on the knee. And exhaling, gently release. And we'll go right to the other side. So shift your body weights. This is a great way to cultivate focus and stability. Remember, it's a practice. And exhaling, gently release. So come back to the top of your mat. We're gonna inhale, take our arms up overhead. Just reverse those motions, exhaling, folding forward. Plant your hands and start to walk your feet back to downward facing dog. So you'll know if you've got the right distance between your hands and your feet, if you inhale, bring yourself to the top of, of a push-up shoulders over the wrists, and then float the knees down. And we're gonna bring ourselves down to the mat. So you can stay on your toes. Either way, you want your spine nice and long. So inhaling shoulders over the wrist and exhale down to the mat. And we're gonna take some easy back bends. So push the tops of the feet into the mat. Drop the elbows gently. Inhale, draw the back of the neck up. Just gaze at the front of your mat. And exhale, forehead to the mat. You could also use a wall for a standing back bend. We'll do that two more times. Drop the elbows, inhale gently. Raise yourself up. Exhale down. One more time, inhale, gently arch. And exhale, forehead to the mat. Go ahead and just let your forehead rest on the mat and reach your fingertips towards your ankles. So remember, there shouldn't be any low back pain. Inhale, and lift your heels. And then reach your fingertips towards your ankles. Inhale and lift your shoulders. Just gaze forward. A couple of breaths here. Perhaps come back to that intention you set. Focus. And hope. And exhale. You release your hands back to the mat. Reverse your push up. Squeeze your elbows in. See if you can get your hips up first. Rock your hips from side to side a little bit. And take another child's pose. 
Maybe rock from side to side here. Notice that this one feels any different than the first child's pose. Maybe a little more relaxed, less strain. Pull your low belly in, inhale, come on back up to all fours and shift yourself onto one hip so that you can come back to where we started. Right. Checking in with the body. We're gonna make this rolling down to the mat, a little core exercise. Use your hands to support your low back, right? Or reach your fingertips forward. We'll go to the count of five. Five, four, three, two, and then one. And let your body completely relax. Maybe tuck your shoulder blades together and check in with your low back. If your low back is feeling a little bit tight, you could bend your knees, adjust your hips. Keep your feet flat on the ground. Maybe bring your hand back to your belly and notice your breath again. So this is the most important pose of all, the stillness. One more time, recall your intention and then let it go, trusting that it's been accomplished and will continue to be so. your eyes closed and just allow yourself to be fully present to your breath, to your body, to that something bigger than yourself. Nothing to do until you hear my voice again. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take your deepest exhale of the day. So gently bend one knee and then the other. Maybe rock your knees from side to side. Just making any small motions to help you get moving again. Eventually you wanna to roll to one side Use that top arm to safely push yourself up to seated. So taking those universal concepts of focusing on the good and being hopeful, I invite you to close your eyes and listen to the particulars where God tells us what will happen if we do. Bring your hands together at your heart. Just listen. And the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your desire in scorched places and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. And your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations you shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to dwell in. That's from the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verses 11 and 12. Inhale deeply. Exhale, you bow your head to your own heart. With a mental pat on the back for showing up and caring for yourself. 
so that you can be your best for others. Remember, it's a journey. The spirit in me, I'm just a spirit in each of you. Namaste.